Hello and thanks for joining us. This is the PN News and I am Priscilla A. Worm. The Senate Committee on Finance has invited the Minister of Finance, Haji Zainab Ahmed, and the Chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mabatunde Fowler, over the proposed plan by the federal government to increase the value-added tax from 5% to 7.2%. The minister and the FIRS boss are expected to throw more light on the reasons for the proposed increase. The finance minister had, after the Federal Executive Council meeting on Wednesday, announced the hike. However, the chairman of the Senate panel, Senator Solomon Adiola, announced the invitation of the two senior officials on Thursday through a statement by his special advisor, Chief Kayode Odunaro. The statement did not, however, indicate the date that the officials would appear before the Senate panel. The wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, on Thursday called on the leadership of the military to deploy more women soldiers for internal security operations, adding that the impact of the female gender must be adequately unleashed in tackling the insecurity facing the country. The wife of the president, who was represented by a senior special assistant, Dr. Hajar Sani, noted that Nigeria was facing a security crisis partly because the armed forces are yet to redefine the role of women and explore their potentials for operational effectiveness. She stated this while speaking at the opening ceremony of the Defense Headquarters made an annual conference on women, peace and security at the National Defense College, Abuja. The Trade Union Congress has sought President Mohamed Buhari's intervention on the lingering delay of the implementation of the new national minimum wage of 30,000 Naira, particularly the consequential adjustment to the pay package of other categories of workers. The TUC, a union representing senior workers of levels 7 to 17, raised the matter with Buhari when its new leadership visited the president at the State House in Abuja on Thursday. The 30,000 Naira is for the least paid worker in Nigeria. So far, the new wage is said to have been implemented by some states for workers on levels 01 to 04, or the category of workers are yet to have a reflection of the new wage on their monthly take-home. Speaking with a state house correspondent after the meeting, the national president of the TUC, Kodri Olaleye, said the union felt it was high time the government resolved the issue of consequential adjustment for the purpose of industrial harmony. The rescheduled evacuation of the next batch of Nigerians willing to return to the country may have been postponed till Sunday by the federal government to enable the Nigerian High Commission in South Africa resolve some immigration issues with South African authorities. The South African Immigration Authorities had on Wednesday delayed the flight of the Air Peace aircraft conveying the first batch of 187 returning Nigerians for over seven hours. Chairman Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission at Bike Dabiri Erewa confirmed to newsmen in Abuja on Thursday that the government was working to address the issues. The Federal Capital Territory Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board has commenced refund to pilgrims who paid above the approved Hajj fare during the just concluded pilgrimage. Public Relations Officer of the Board, Malam Mohammed Aliyu, explained in a statement on Thursday that the refund was sequel to the reduction of the 2019 Hajj fare after a review of the charges by the service providers negotiated by the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria. He said that all pilgrims who paid more than the initial Hajj fare would benefit from the refund and advise pilgrims who had paid above of the approved Hajj fare and participated in the exercise through the board to forward the application for the refund. A 20-year-old girl of a military man 
Okpayami married the Sumu on Thursday, got two job offers after she emerged best graduating student for 2018-2019 set at the 11th convocation of the Redeemers University at De Ocean State. Dosumu, who graduated with the cumulative grade point average of 4.88 in accounting, was the signature of all the eyes. She got awards in five different categories. She was immediately offered a job as graduate assistant in addition to a full scholarship by his alma mater. However, one of the honorary doctorate degree recipients at the event, Chief Tunde Afolabi, who is the chairman of Omni International Petroleum Development Company, in his acceptance speech announced another job offer for Dusumu as accountant trainee at Omni. That's all in the PM News today. Thanks for watching. I am Priscilla Worm to join us for the World News at 4 p.m.